The revelations in today's episode will shock you with the expansion capabilities of Tesla Optimus. It goes far beyond just daily household chores or factory work. Optimus has more potential than you can imagine. Its updated heavy lifting capability is showcased in the latest revealed images by Kim Kardashian. Promising even more advancements for humanity in the future, how significant will Optimus be in shaping human life? That's what we'll dive into in today's episode. Welcome to Techno Creators. Before we begin, please help us reach 4,500 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great tech episodes. The bronze-colored Tesla Optimus prototype we previously saw, posted by Kim's X account, suggests that color customization for Tesla Optimus is entirely possible. So far, it has continued to appear working alongside her next to a black Cybertruck. With a lowered center of gravity, while carrying a 12-pound camera stabilizer, it clearly demonstrates its ability to adapt to heavy lifting similarly to humans. To confidently achieve this capability, Tesla has focused on developing actuators while improving the hands, which reportedly took the most research time. The hands, originally with 22 degrees of freedom, are being upgraded to 25 degrees of freedom, granting Tesla Optimus abilities far beyond watering house plants, carrying bags, or pet care. Optimus can take on more demanding tasks such as filming and transporting objects without human assistance. You may not know this, but Tesla Bot's hands are considered the best in the industry, only slightly inferior to human hands. Just a little. This means that out of 100 tasks we can perform with our hands, Tesla Bot can handle around 90. It's unbelievable that we might finally be able to purchase it for just $20,000. Setting aside the technical aspects, let's talk about the design first. As we can all see, the new Optimus hands are nearly at the pinnacle of design. You can compare them directly in the video. The left side features the next generation hands, while the right still shows the older version. The older version still exposed some cables and actuators, while we were completely amazed to see that the new hand is almost fully enclosed. We mean nothing is exposed anymore. Even the fingers no longer reveal their joints as clearly as on the right. Yes, that's about the design. Looking at the new hand, we immediately thought about Optimus being capable of washing dishes or even doing laundry. Its new hands seem to have much better water resistance than the previous version. They almost look like they're covered by gloves, which could be the answer for customers who once doubted whether Optimus could handle water-related tasks. Moving on to the technical and functional aspects of the new hands, we've read and heard Elon Musk's claims. Being able to thread a needle, play the piano, or even perform more complex tasks. It sounds unbelievable, but after closely observing the new hands in the demo video, we now understand why Elon Musk is so confident. Specifically, as you can see, Tesla Bot demonstrates its ability to catch a tennis ball with its new hands. It catches the ball with incredible precision and holds it firmly once gripped. Clearly, this gives us the most realistic insight into the robot's new hands. Elon Musk admitted that Optimus was still being remotely controlled in Tesla's lab when playing basketball. But you have to understand, he emphasized that it was in real time. Remote control actually seems much harder than letting the bot do it autonomously. It's insane that the teleoperation system can respond fast enough to pull this off. Normally, remotely controlled robots experience signal lag. We mean there's usually a noticeable delay. However, as we've seen, Optimus reacts extremely quickly with minimal latency, and that's what stands out here. In this new hand design, Milan Kovach confirmed that all actuators are concentrated in the forearm, mimicking human tendons. The advantage of this design is that it makes the hands lighter and more flexible during operation. In our view, this isn't just a new hand. Optimus can now track randomly moving objects and demonstrate dexterity in capturing them, an impressive leap forward compared to just a few months ago. Milan Kovac also confirmed that the Tesla team still has some work to complete by the end of this year, particularly around integrating expanded tactile sensors that will cover a much larger surface area than the previous hands. According to him, the main challenge now is balancing the softness of the protective layer on the fingers and palms 
without compromising tactile sensitivity. With this latest update, we believe Tesla aims to highlight the dexterity of Optimus's hands as it positions the humanoid robot as a versatile assistant capable of performing nearly any task a human can do. Although Tesla has only introduced around 50 Optimus robots, the company may have already produced hundreds. Musk confirmed that integrating technology developed for Tesla's electric vehicles into Optimus has allowed the company to progress faster than usual. This means Tesla didn't have to build Optimus from scratch, but instead leveraged existing technology to accelerate toward its goal of producing thousands of units by 2026. Despite doubts about Tesla's ability to produce an electric bus, KTL recently announced a new battery technology that is said to be the perfect match for Tesla's electric bus, capable of providing an operational range of up to 2 million miles. By utilizing a high-density cathode design, it increases energy density by 22% compared to previous battery generations. Tesla will certainly prioritize superior efficiency over any existing electric bus, focusing on optimizing drag and extending operational range. So how does new battery technology impact Tesla's plans? How is the new bus battery technology a breakthrough? While we await the launch of the Tesla bus, there are some intriguing aspects of its design. Tesla has observed the success of electric buses from manufacturers like China's BYD and the superior battery technology from CATL. Additionally, the collapse of Proterra, the largest supplier and manufacturer of electric buses in the U.S., has highlighted the high costs associated with fully electric buses. This gives Musk confidence that Tesla can overcome challenges faced by other companies, as many electric vehicle technologies emerged before Tesla's success but failed to make a significant impact in the industry. Designed specifically for commercial transport, CATL's Tektron's battery is said to represent a leap in battery technology with improved energy density, rechargeability, and durability. KITL claims this battery can last for 1 million miles based on U.S. estimates, and its impressive lifespan comes with a 15-year power warranty when capacity drops to 85%, showcasing a significant advancement in durability compared to existing battery solutions. The system can provide fleet operators with extended vehicle range, reduced downtime, optimized cost efficiency, and improved overall performance. With three announced versions, Super Fast Charging Edition, Long Life Edition for commercial trucks, and Bus Edition for long distance passenger transport, this package offers an energy density of 175 watt hours per kilogram, the highest currently available for LFP packs used in bus applications. This is achieved through high density cathode design, while the U-shaped ceiling structure and wind resistant angles enhance energy density by 22% compared to previous battery generations. The compact design boosts flexibility in vehicle design, offering extended range and low energy consumption. While advanced thermal management systems maintain optimal performance across various climates, reducing internal temperature differentials by 50% to extend operational lifespan even in harsh conditions, the battery tests have demonstrated their reliability and performance in extreme conditions operating at temperatures above 45 degrees Celsius in Qatar and Dubai, as well as enduring minus 35 degrees Celsius in Arctic regions like Norway and Sweden. One of the main advantages of KATL's LFP batteries is their thermal stability and high cycle life, which are crucial factors for extending the operational lifespan of electric vehicles. This technology has been proven to minimize capacity loss after 1,000 charging cycles, in stark contrast to the industry average, where other battery technologies lose significant capacity after just 1,000 cycles. Moreover, this battery technology can be charged at a rate of 560 kilowatts, showing significant superiority over most competitors and greatly reducing charging times for large electric vehicles like buses. This factor promises to draw attention from the entire industry. Although battery technologies using nickel, cobalt, and manganese provide higher energy densities, ranging from 265 to 300 watt-hours per kilogram, compared to 175 watt-hours for this new battery technology, which is significantly higher than Tektron's, they typically only last between 1,000 to 2,000 cycles, maintaining about 70% capacity after 8 years. 
What will motivate Tesla to apply this battery technology for Tesla bus? The journey of Tesla's electric bus has garnered attention and sparked much speculation since Elon Musk announced the ambition in Tesla's Master Plan Part 2 in 2016. In this document, Musk emphasized the crucial role of transitioning to electric power not just for personal vehicles, but also for heavy trucks and public transportation systems in densely populated urban areas. With the company's commitment to environmental protection and reducing emissions, the Tesla Mega Project, with a capacity of 300 megawatts, is designed to provide electricity for electric bus depots and is supplemented by solar panels for an independent power grid showcasing Tesla's dedication to sustainable energy solutions. The advantages of electric buses are clear. They help reduce air pollution, operate more quietly, and save costs due to lower electricity prices compared to fuel. In comparison, the operating costs of electric buses can be up to 40% lower than traditional diesel buses. Coupled with KATL's new battery technology, which is promising and cost-effective due to the availability of raw materials from China, the estimated price for the Tesla bus is $120,000. Depending on size and configuration, this price may vary, but it remains 10 times cheaper than the collapse of Proterra and 40% cheaper than the electric buses currently operated by BYD, which start at $180,000. The development of the Tesla bus is not only a significant advancement in the transportation sector, but also reflects the company's broader vision for a sustainable, future. These efforts not only help improve air quality and reduce costs for cities, but also lay the groundwork for a more modern and efficient public transportation system. As Tesla continues to innovate and expand, there is hope that these solutions will become the new standard in the transportation industry, making a positive contribution to the fight against climate change. As the electric vehicle market witnesses an increasing number of automakers emerging from China to North America, the pressure on manufacturers continues to rise as they must find new breakthroughs in battery technology that are at least cost-effective, energy-efficient, and safe. In this race, the better battery tech will be the winner, and Tesla seems unable to remain loyal to lithium-ion batteries because the truth is, they cannot help Elon Musk's EV become cheaper and produce more affordable cars. So, what if Tesla had a battery that is three times cheaper than lithium-ion, charges twice as fast, and is hundreds of times safer. Why would Tesla decide to use sodium ion batteries? Sodium ion batteries might be a familiar concept to many energy technology enthusiasts, but most people may not fully understand what sodium ion batteries are, simply thinking they are a type of battery containing sodium. While this is not incorrect, we believe the concept of sodium ion batteries is far more fascinating than that. Essentially, Sodium ion batteries consist of a cathode made from materials capable of holding sodium, an anode typically made from hard carbon, alloys, or metal oxides, and a liquid electrolyte containing sodium atoms in ionic form. The electrolyte is a liquid located between the cathode and anode, filling the internal volume of the cell and acting as a bridge between the cathode and anode, allowing sodium ions to move. Tesla's adoption of sodium ion batteries does not mean they will stop using other types of lithium ion batteries. Each battery technology has its own strengths, making it suitable for different Tesla EV models. Moreover, lithium batteries cannot solve many of the challenges faced by electric vehicles, especially as most automakers are leaning toward producing more affordable EVs. Indeed, one of the main reasons sodium ion batteries were developed is because sodium is more abundant and significantly cheaper than lithium. This is particularly important as the demand for standard lithium used in batteries continues to rise, with a projected lithium shortage for lithium-ion battery production by 2025. Sodium-ion batteries in particular offer advantages for all automakers, especially Tesla and its much-anticipated $25,000 EV, with lower costs introducing another type of battery chemistry that does not rely on lithium has enormous benefits, especially in the future, when the demand for lithium is expected to increase 1,000 times compared to today. How fast is the charging time of sodium ion battery? For those disappointed with long charging times, electric vehicles remain a concern, especially on journeys exceeding 400 miles. In Tesla EVs, 
The fastest charging time is around 30 minutes, 20% to 80% for Model 3 via the LFP package. If Tesla aims to improve charging times, sodium ion batteries may not be the best solution, despite other battery technologies achieving remarkable charging times. Compared to current standards, however, sodium ion batteries are certainly much more efficient than lithium cells. Specifically, sodium ion batteries have the potential to charge faster than lithium ion batteries as KTL claims that their batteries can be charged to 80% in 15 to 20 minutes. Better than Tesla's electric vehicles, which typically take around 30 minutes to do the same. What do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.